If you're getting ready for a Praxis exam that has math questions, you might not have to do all the calculations in your head. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the four function calculator. How does it work? When can you use it? And most importantly, how can you use it effectively to maximize your test score? Don't worry, we've got your back. In this video, we'll explore the features of the on-screen four function calculator. I'm going to show you when and how to use it and share some tips to boost your confidence on test day. Welcome to Praxis Test Prep Channel. I'm Tom, a certified math teacher and test prep expert with Study.com. We're proud to partner with ETS, the official provider of the Praxis exams, to bring you the most accurate and up-to-date information straight from the source. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to use the on-screen calculator tool effectively and take the next step in your teaching career. Ready? Let's jump in. First things first, let's get acquainted with the on-screen four-function calculator. This calculator lets you perform basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You can also use it to calculate square roots. It's designed to assist with straightforward calculations. This means you can focus more on problem solving and less on manual arithmetic. Unlike a scientific or graphing calculator, this one does not support advanced functions such as exponents or trigonometry, so you'll need to rely on your own knowledge and problem solving skills for anything beyond basic calculations. Calculations. So which Praxis exams will you see this calculator on? Not all Praxis tests include this calculator, so it's important to check whether yours does so you can be ready. There are a few exams that you'll see the on-screen four-function calculator on. The Core Academic Skills for Educators Combined Exam, which is test code 5752, actually contains the Core Academic Skills Math Subtest, and that one's test code is 5733, but you can also just take that one on its own. The rest of these are all for elementary education exams that focus on math. 5006, 5008, 7811, 5037, and 7813. So if you're taking any of these, you'll have the four-function calculator provided for you. Be sure to check your specific test calculator policy before your exam date. During your Praxis exam, the calculator is available directly within the test interface. You'll see a small calculator icon or button on the screen, which you can click to open the calculator. You can also move it around the screen to position it where it's most convenient for you. One key tip, practice navigating the calculator beforehand. If you aren't comfortable opening, using, and closing it in a hurry, you could waste valuable time during the test. Now let's take a closer look at the calculator's layout. While it's simple, knowing how to use each function correctly can save time and prevent errors. You'll see a display screen. This is where the numbers you input and the results of your calculations will appear. This calculator has a numeric keypad with the digits 0 through 9. It also has some basic operation keys like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, parentheses, and a square root key. Equals button is what you'll press after entering your equation to get the final result of a calculation. And the clear or C button resets the calculator so you can start a new calculation. You'll also notice a button marked CE. This is the clear entry button. You can use this if you just want to clear the most recent entry you made so you don't have to start over from the beginning of a problem. There are three memory buttons you can use, memory recall or MR to retrieve a stored value in memory, clear or MC to clear a stored value. When you first use the memory sum or M plus button, it stores the number on the display to memory. Each additional time you use the memory sum button, it adds the current display value to the value in the stored memory. This can come in really handy if you need to do multiple calculations for a single problem. At the bottom of the calculator, you'll see a button marked Transfer Display. This lets you move the number from the calculator straight into the answer box on your test for numeric entry questions. Even though this calculator is pretty basic, it is important to keep a few tips in mind. Having access to a calculator is great, but using it efficiently is even better. My next strategy tip is to know when to use it. Not all problems require a calculator, so don't rely on it too much. Sometimes mental math or estimation is faster than spending time opening and using the calculator. Be sure to check your inputs carefully. One of the biggest mistakes test takers make is entering the wrong numbers. Always double check your input before pressing the equal sign. You can use estimation to check your answers. Before entering numbers into the calculator, estimate what your answer should be. If your final result is far off, you may have mistyped something. Also, don't forget to clear the calculator before each new calculation. Keep the order of operations in mind. Remember PEMDAS? You should evaluate expressions based on parentheses first, followed by exponentiation, including square roots, then multiplication and division from left to right, and finally addition and subtraction from left to right. Practice using the calculator before exam day. This way you won't waste valuable time figuring out the tool during the actual exam. 
So how can you practice? ETS doesn't have a demo for function calculator on their site, but you do have access to it through the practice test I mentioned earlier. Here's that list again. However, if you're not ready to buy a practice test yet, but you want to navigate testing with a calculator, you can use a standard digital calculator that's available on your computer, tablet, or phone. Just use the functions that are available on the actual Praxis calculator. You can also head over to study.com and use the full-length practice test there. The exam has a timer you can use to practice time management during the test. Just use your external calculator during the practice test when you need it to get comfortable with it while you're testing. And the nice thing about the study.com practice test is it will give you a detailed score report at the end that shows exactly what you need to brush up on. Now you know everything you need to use the on-screen four-function calculator like a pro. By understanding its features, practicing beforehand, and using smart strategies, strategies, you'll be able to approach your Praxis exam with confidence. For more detailed practice strategies and walkthroughs, check out our Praxis videos here on YouTube and then make your way over to study.com and check out one of our Praxis test prep courses. Our users boast a 92% pass rate and our courses include full-length exams, hundreds of practice questions, and additional video lessons specifically tailored to the latest test updates. With our resources, you'll know exactly what to expect on test day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more more updates on practice exams and leave your questions and success stories in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, we're rooting for you every step of the way. You've got this.